This last week for AMC was a little bit disappointing. Come out to the chart on the 5 day and you'll see not much really happened at all. All that we saw is that continuation of the downtrend bringing us down to about $22 at the lows if we have a look. Maybe a little bit higher than that we have found that consolidation at around $22.50. So a mixed week but really all red. A little bit of consolidation like I said from Thursday into Friday. But unfortunately it does look to be the case that we closed around $22.99. And after hours we went down to $22.95 which would mean that those calls up at 23 were just out of the money. But regardless, what we do have is an opportunity now to spread some good energy, give you guys some morale, and that's what we're going to be doing in the video. So make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. But as always, remember, this is only based on my opinions and nothing more. But yes, we're going to dive in. Now this one is coming from Reddit, so massive shout out to the user u-copy on Reddit. Again, this person has shared some very great info, and it is good for building morale as well. Anyway, got disappointed this week? Here is why I think a run-up is on our way next week before the squeeze in the end of the month. So if we have a look at what this user has posted, we can see... This week, the short hedge funds are working real hard to hammer down AMC. It clearly showed their desperation. I completely agree with that statement. He then went on to say, I just wanted to share why I do expect pretty good run-ups next week. As you see from the patterns below A and B in the chart, and we will get to those in just a moment, I figured out a very similar pattern throughout March of last year until now. Shorting has happened for exact three months now so that's from june till august and run up in august to october and uh run up is where we are right now in november to january and the next run up could be waiting for us now so we'll talk about this by looking at the images which this individual has shared just going to go back to this page and we can see when we scroll down uh, the initial chart of what we're seeing from the pattern so you'll see this trend that we're noticing from the top we're decreasing as time went on then we saw another run up we're going down again then we saw another run up we're going down even further and this time it is an even more dramatic drop and i assume that this user is drawing some memory back to this first drop down where we had a dramatic drop taking us all the way down to here just below 40 maybe even about uh, 35 and they are assuming that a similarly high run up is going to come because we're dropping big in the past week or two and, you know, we could assume that an even bigger rise could be coming subsequently. But following this pattern, yes, you could say AMC is coming down over time, which is obviously true. Now, as to why that is, is a different topic. But we are starting to form this pattern now where you're seeing we're hitting this level around 20 as our bottom. And the lows are coming. Uh, sorry, the highs are becoming lower and lower and lower. So are we ready for another push up to potentially a lower high than what we saw here, but still a relatively good week? Or will we even break out of this trend and see a breakout of what you could call um, this kind of wedge pattern that we're seeing here coming down to 20 and of course bouncing up to this level on the highs? Of course, only time will tell, but it is an interesting theory. And if we go in a bit further, we can highlight where we actually are with AMC in the past year. Now this is where things get good in my opinion because I know when it comes to the mainstream media they like to try and say AMC is on its way out, it's not going to do well and fair enough the gains that we have seen from 70 are dropping and they have been dropping in the past week but regardless we're still seeing AMC maintain these gains of about 900% almost even a thousand percent so really look at where we are in the past year we're still doing phenomenally good. We're still one of the best, uh, most profitable tickers that we are seeing. So, you know, don't let them kind of dissuade you with that tactic because AMC is maintaining 20 now and it still puts us at gains just under a thousand percent, which is unheard of. Anyway, coming down here, we can see some important dates. Uh, we have April the 30th, that's the Friday, and then we have May the 14th, which is a Friday. And coming down here, we have May the 4th uh, to the 6th, May. 4 to 6 p.m. This is a Tuesday and May the 18th to 6 p.m. And we also have May the 11th and May the 25th. Now, if we have a look down here, surprisingly, it, it moved based on short interest reporting dates. This year, January the 11th is the next short interest reporting date. So this individual has pointed these key dates out to say, okay, this is when we're looking at the next short interest date being reported. Are we going to see another run-up based on this? It's not impossible and it definitely could happen. 
Anyway, another info uh, up here is going to be the 2022 short interest reporting. And we do have another date on there, which is the 26th of January, um, you know, as well as the 11th. So another day where we could be looking for a run up. And if you come down here, we have the short squeeze pattern. How short squeeze follows the end of the month. FINRA short interest report. And we can also see this individual has gone on to say about this. I also checked other heavily shorter stocks to see if it's correlated. And yes, it does follow the short interest reporting date. And the short squeeze usually lasted about two weeks. Anyway, coming down to where we are on this second piece, we can see what we're looking at for GameStop and the dates. It is true, February the 14th, come back to where we are here. It was um, late February where we saw that run-up actually happen with GameStop, so there you go. Perhaps it is something related. Clover is another one that we have seen see massive gains, rose 220% in a short period of time. And guess what? That happened on the dates from May the 24th up to the 8th of June. So also quite close to these day, um, or this day here, which is between the 25th of May and the 9th of June. So similar run-ups coming out to where we are with AMC. This one is June, sorry, May to June. And we're seeing that date over here. So May 25th up to June the 9th. And the run-up happened from May the 21st to June the 2nd. So yeah, there is some correlation there, obviously. And another example is going to be Sundial. So this one ran up by about 400%, we'll say. And that had its uh, report date, which was on January the 27th. And guess when the run-up happened? January the 27th. So does that mean that the squeeze is inbound in the next few weeks for AMC? It absolutely could. But as I said, what this does more than anything is it builds morale. And whether it means we're going to have the squeeze this week, coming up next week after that, or coming towards the end of the month, we know that factors are hotting up. And the drop that we are seeing for AMC is what I would consider to be unnatural. So with all that being considered, isn't it likely that we're going to see some movement upwards with AMC? And as I always go back to with some other examples, and most notably Volkswagen, the stock came down massively from its highs, before eventually rocketing on to have a very, very large short squeeze. So does that mean that we're going to see the same thing with AMC? Is it going to see a massive drop like we have before we have the squeeze? Of course, we don't know when the squeeze is going to happen. But what we can do is do our research, look at the numbers, look at the maths and see what is most likely. And again, whether this is going to result in the squeeze into the end of January, I don't know. But I do know that this is like a, it's like a, a puzzle and all of the pieces of the puzzle are starting to come into place and I think we're going to see more and more of that into the next few weeks. I would like next week to be a key one because when we do look at the chart real quick as I mentioned out to that five day we've seen this one find that support level around 2250. Of course it has dropped lower than that but a key support recently has been around 2250 so it is absolutely possible that we could um, hit that level again or just hit where we are right now and start to go back up from here because it's not too far off those lows that we're finding the consolidation at. So why are we not due some uptrend? Because the past five days has been pretty much all red. Come out to the past month and even here we're looking at very few green days. And well a month that is bringing us down massively from the highs. Even in the past six months now when we look at AMC the price is declining steadily. As I have said before, this is something that doesn't really make sense for a stock which is owned 80 to 90%, maybe even more, by retail. Does it point to the proof that synthetics are out there? In my opinion, it does. If not, it points to proof of manipulation for sure. And if anything, yes, it does make me feel more confident with AMC. But the catalysts, like you said, are lining up. Will this go on to help us into the next few weeks. I want to hear what you have to say in the comment section. But yeah, I do think it is only a matter of time before they break. Because if we don't sell our shares and we just keep buying and they keep wanting us to sell so they can cover, what's going to happen when we do not? Eventually, we're going to find a weakness in their system and they're going to be put in a place where they are the weakest link and it is going to go on to hinder them in my opinion so thank you for joining me for this relatively long video massive shout out to the user that posted that dd on reddit it's real good stuff and yeah we're going to be back with more content later on so thank you i'll see you all again then goodbye thank you for watching through till the end but let me tell you about our discord 
So on your screen you will be seeing the N2S Finance Discord, obviously it is split into multiple sections, basically at the top we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff, if you scroll down a bit further we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, SPACs and other hot stocks including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well and we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down you can see some research and DD from the community, we also have funny memes and you can see actual contributions from many members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon